Now your certified storm ready forecast from NBC 25. Good Monday morning everyone and happy Veterans Day to all the veterans and families of veterans out there. Thank you for your service. Here we are this morning starting out quiet with just a few rain showers moving in, but some of us are already seeing snow showers and most of us will see the rain change to snow as we go throughout the late morning and into the early afternoon. The Arctic fronts arrived. We talked about it last week, so if you're planning on heading out to any of the parades, still enjoy them, but just bundle up and make sure you've got the umbrella because the rain will mix at times with snow before that Arctic air really starts to move in and change things up for significantly, not only with the precipitation, but with your temperatures as we bottom out at 18 degrees Wednesday morning to tomorrow morning. 22 degrees your overnight low, so get ready for it. Here it comes rain out ahead of the Arctic boundary, but we are seeing snow now reported in Houghton Lake and also West Branch over to Cadillac. Gaylord Grayling all seeing snow right now and that snow is going to continue to move south with the rain as that colder air continues to filter in. But I think most of this from the tri Cities south is going to be rain. It's north of the tri cities along M55 that we could pick up some minor accumulations anywhere from one to three inches of snowfall there. Tri cities south and east, we're looking at a dusting to a half an inch worst case scenario, but we will see some flakes flying as we head later into the morning. It's too warm to support those flakes right now at 41 in Bay City, Saginaw and Flint. It's 42 in Owasso, 40 in Cairo, but notice Claire at 34, Houghton Lake just checked your observation. 33 right now in Houghton Lake. So that's the start of the cold air, but it gets much colder when you head further north. We're talking about already seeing temperatures into the teens in sections of northern Wisconsin and the western upper peninsula, and that's why everything up north is currently snow. But south of the boundary, it will be all rain, and most of this precipitation shield, again, will fall in the form of rain, with the exception of our northern counties that are already seeing some of that snow. And this Arctic boundary trails all the way west. Snow now from the upper peninsula and northern sections of the lower peninsula through through Minneapolis and back to South Dakota, but North Dakota already seeing temperatures in the single digits. You see that pink and purple and magenta. Those are single digit lows this morning. 12 in Bismarck, 22 in Sioux Falls, Marquette down to 25, and that's the Arctic plunge that's making its way not only into the Great Lakes, but the entire eastern third of the nation will be seeing below average temperatures for the next three to four day period because of this Arctic air mass moving in from Canada. So here we are at eight o'clock. Most of us still just looking at showers with rain, but notice the blue already showing up across northern lower and it sags a little more to the south from eight to 12. I think we'll start to see by noon some of that rain snow mix here in the tri cities and then from noon to four we'll see the rain switching over to snow along the interstate 69 corridor in our southern counties and then all of that will sweep to the south. We'll just be left over with a very strong northerly wind. Some of us could see a few lake effect snow showers, especially if you're closer to the lakefront and the thumb and then the western sections of the peninsula that are more favored for that lake effect activity. We'll be seeing some of those snow showers tonight to tomorrow, so not a widespread accumulation. Again, I think the bigger story with the system is the cold air we'll be bringing uh, down to 22 tonight, barely getting to freezing tomorrow, 18 Wednesday morning for your overnight low, and the temperatures will slowly start to climb from Wednesday into Friday, but staying below average until we head to Saturday. Joel?